as a Christian, why wouldn't you want a Christian nation? Oh, this is going to be a good one. Y'all take notes. Y'all save this one. Share this one. Let's get this one out in the stratosphere. As a Christian, why wouldn't you want a Christian nation? Well, to start off, that's the exact opposite intention of the United States of America. Why is it the people who say, I love America, want the exact opposite intention of America? And it, is it a coincidence that it's usually the same exact people who say, I love Jesus, while they support the exact opposite of Jesus' teachings? I love spaghetti. Okay, here's a plate of spaghetti. I hate meatballs and get this nasty ass spaghetti sauce off my plate. So, you like noodles? No, I love spaghetti. But you just said, uh, you need to quit believing whatever the media tells you to believe and do your own research. Plus, you know, there, there's that. Imagine if that headline said, Mega Drag Show Stands By Drag Performer, allowing them to continue performing after they admit to inappropriate sexual behavior. When I was 15, I went to Europe, and when we were in Italy, we saw this. Michelangelo's statue of Moses with horns. All because a verse that said that Moses was seen with rays of light on his head was somehow translated into, and Moses was seen with horns. All because of a mistranslation, and that is the exact problem with all of it. Different translations, readings, and interpretations. I'm Southern Baptist, and I remember my childhood preacher saying that Jesus didn't really turn water into wine. It was a figurative wine, because drinking alcohol is a sin. I remember listening to sermons making fun of different churches. Not different religions, different denominations. Same exact God, same exact Jesus, but we were the real true believers. I went to a Methodist church once, and I had family members worried about my soul. I went to a Pentecostal church once, and I was worried about my soul. I happened to go one of the times that they would do the speaking in tongues, and they put the oil on the rag and put it on your forehead, and people would fall out, and I was I was scared shitless. I, I was like, I just want to sing I'll Fly Away. This is, this is too much. When I was 19, the grandfather of a girl I was dating told me that I was going to hell because I wasn't Church of Christ. At no point in the history of Christianity have all Christians agreed on the right way to be a Christian and in a significant number of Christian nations being the wrong kind of Christian could cost you your life that is the reason this country was founded and that is the reason why Christian nationalism is so dangerous there's nothing Christian nor American about Christian nationalism it is truly American to allow your belief system to control your own life it is truly anti-American to want your belief system to control everybody's life Christian nationalism is nothing more than hatred and we should all strive to love harder not hate harder. A hallelujah and roll tide.